special. What's up y'all, it is Shane Sham, and I am back with another video. And this video is really long overdue, but basically I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how I prepare for my NCLEX. So I am so happy that that test is over. This video is strictly going to be guided towards how I studied and how I prepared for NCLEX. If you guys want to know about my experience, that's going to be in a whole nother video because that is a story, okay? That is a story. <laughs> School requires that we take an RN entrance exam and an RN exit exam. So the HESI exam is a test that's very synonymous to the NCLEX and it gives you an idea of how you're gonna perform on the actual NCLEX. So I took that at the very beginning of the semester, I did not do so hot, and then I took it at the very end of the semester and I did better, but I still didn't do as good as I would like to have done. So I knew that I needed to study. So instead of just starting, I basically came up with a plan of how I was going to tackle all the material because there's a lot of material that you learn in nursing school. So what I did was I looked at my HESI scores and I love the HESI scores because it breaks down each section and it tells you how many questions you got right and how many questions there were and what sections you score low in, what sections you score high in. So I did a plan and I started off with the lowest score, but also not the lowest score, but just the section that I felt like there were gonna be a lot of questions on, on the NCLEX. So I knew that there probably were gonna be a lot of med search questions, so I started off with that section and then looked at the subcategories to see how well I scored in each section. I started off with studying the cardiovascular section because I wanted to score higher because I knew that there probably were going to be a lot of questions on the NCLEX about the cardiovascular section and the respiratory section. So I created a plan. I started off with each section and I broke the sections up into subcategories. So at first I was just using my NCLEX book, the big fat book that you probably hear a lot of people talk about, um, but it's like the NCLEX comprehensive book. And I started off with the cardiovascular section and I read through the whole section and then I was just doing the questions um, from the back of that section. But I just felt like that wasn't enough to prepare. So what I did was I invested into UWorld. UWorld saved my life. Oh my gosh, UWorld was so amazing for so many reasons. The rationales were very concrete, straight to the point and very informative. So I really, really recommend UWorld if you are preparing for your NCLEX. Basically, this is an example of how I created my study plan. So as you can see, like med surge, and then I did cardiovascular and respiratory. So once I finished all the cardiovascular questions from UWorld, then I would check the box off. Once I finished all the respiratory questions, then I would check the box off. Then I would move on to fundamentals, finish all those questions, and so on and so forth. So basically, I would try to do 75 questions a day, but it did not always happen that way. Sometimes I would finish 75 questions, sometimes I wouldn't. Sometimes I would do more, sometimes I would do less. But I would say that 75 questions is a good amount of questions to do every day for UWorld. I started off with the three-day live version of Kaplan. My employer offered it for free and I said, well, why not? They're offering it for free, so I might as well just do it. And personally, I didn't like Kaplan. I think that Kaplan is great for some people, but it just did not really work for me. I felt like the rationales weren't as straightforward as UWorld's rationales were. Like. UWorld's rationales were very straightforward, very concrete, and the thing that I love about UWorld is the amount of pictures that they had in the rationales. I'm a very visual person. I learn by seeing and doing, but I also learn a lot by just seeing visual things. So I really love the fact that UWorld had a lot of pictures and I was able to retain information and remember the picture that was attached to a rationale. So right in front of where I was studying, I put all of my reference ranges and I put some Kaplan tips up there, like the Kaplan tree, the decision tree, but I didn't really use it that much. And then I also put my name and then I put RMBSN behind it. And that was very strategic because every single time I saw that, it was reminding me of what I was working so hard for. So I recommend that if you are studying like anywhere in your section, put your name and then put RMBSN behind your name. So it's as if you are, have already passed your NCLEX. So this is my notebook that I wrote all of my UWorld rationales in. And as you can see, I wrote Sham RMBSN. And then at the bottom, I put you will pass NCLEX on the first try. So I'll show you guys an example of a section. So this is like the, this is my pharmacology section. And I just have some common meds up here. And then I wrote what they do and 
common adverse effects and stuff like that in so this is the respiratory section and I have all of my respiratory notes in here and the reason why I broke the question bank down into subcategories is because it was easier to retain information that way so I didn't want to be studying peds one day and then be studying respiratory another day I wanted to focus on each section and study that way and that really really helped me by breaking it down into sections and then also if I wanted to go back and look at my notes then it was all in one section and it wasn't all over the place so I like doing it that way so I am in no way getting paid to say this but I really think that you wrote helped me with passing my NCLEX I started off with Kaplan I used the big fat NCLEX comprehensive book but you wrote is what helped me and I think the reason why you wrote is so helpful is because it is very concrete and very straight to the point with the rationales it also has a lot of pictures and for those people that are visual learners those pictures came in handy for me like i would literally be reading a question on the nclex and think back to a picture that i saw on uworld so i would say if you are studying for your nclex invest in uworld i think that it is a great tool to study for your nclex